Hey there, Focklers. We're back with Goofy JT in the background still making uh, chain lubricant noises. We'll get to that weirdo later. Okay. Part two. Part two. Part two. We're getting into some waterproof dual USB charger. And this thing, I've been talking about it for a while here. We'll, uh, I'll explain it a little bit. So, 12 o'clock labs, 250, 350 auxiliary cable. So it's a, a plug and play connector that works right uh, to a dummy plug on the bike. Reads it right there. It says fuse on motorcycle is 10 amps, which means keep current below 10 amps. First remove dummy plug with t two green eyes. So for the 300Ls and 250Ls, installation location is behind the headlight. So that's what we're going to have to go ahead and remove here. But yeah, so this just plugs in behind the headlight and gives us power which is already fused from the bike uh, from factory so we can run the dual charger anyways let's get into it okay so let's open this thing so we got the dual port USB with the wiring already set up there and the bracketry don't need the box anymore Okay, so first off, we're gonna set up where we want it. You can either go center, right, or left. I'm uh, I'm gonna leave the center open for right now. I was thinking I'm gonna probably go with a quad lock or some sort of phone mount. So I uh, will likely leave that on the right just so I can uh, easily grab that with the, the right hand so the clutch hand's free if I need to get on that quick. So I think I'm gonna throw it on the left side. I think that's where we're gonna go. Let's see how this, uh, let's see how this looks on here. Just pre-thread her in there a little bit. Grab the screwdriver and get her on. Just gonna get her a little more snug. Not tight because that's obviously not where we're mounting it. Get her back here where I'm thinking we're gonna run her. Right back about there is where she's gonna be. And just go ahead and send her home. Cover still is easy to get off, easy to access, and she locks back up. Weatherproof, waterproof, whatever you want it proof. <clears throat> okay, so we're just gonna leave this dangling here for a minute, and we're gonna get into taking the headlight assembly off so we can find our dummy plug to uh, get our connector on and see how much wire we do or don't need. This is. 70 inches which i think is far too much for just going behind the headlight but i guess we're gonna see how she looks and how she acts okay guys so next step is removing the headlight and on these 2021 crf 300ls there are two allen head bolts one on either side there's one and there's the other so we're gonna go ahead and crack those off and uh, move the headlight, and we'll see if we can't find our dummy plug. Okay. So, we got two 5mm Allen heads. Get in there nice and good. Crack them loose, shouldn't take too much. I think they're probably just into, uh, through some rubber grommets and into some plastics, so... There's one. There's two. Okay, I've never tried to see if it'll move after, but let's see what she does. She's about to 
fall over. That's what she does. Okay, I lied. There's four. Let's see if we can't get these back. Lower ones by hand. Okay, nope. Gonna need some tools in there. <laughs> They're a little bit tighter, but came out. Three. That was four. We'll see how it comes out. A little bit of a pain in the ass to reach, but she's out. So four five millimeter rounds. My bad, guys. Oh, well, maybe I'm lying to you still. Okay guys, so as we can see she's mobile. We're just gonna go ahead and pull it off here. Just a little bit of a pin that sits on there on the side of the headlight. You just gotta kind of wiggle it off. There we go. That makes a little more sense sits over this pin here this rubber grommet so it hooks onto there slides on and then you can move her all out of the way go ahead and get the headlight bulb disconnected here these are always fun there we go squeeze both sides of it pop her off there's the headlight, ladies and gentlemen. So, one, two, three, four. You can actually see how small this hole is, how large that hole is. So that one actually sits over the dowel there. There we go. Let's find our dummy plug. Okay, so next step. The instructions said find the connector with two green eyes that right there my friends would be two green eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and get this reusable zip tie off we'll get that connector out and we'll see if we can't uh, set up our auxiliary cable here let's get into it Keep those. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this cover down here. There she is, boys and girls. The connector we have been looking for. So just go ahead, press the tab there, pull it off. That is the dummy end plug. So now, go ahead and open our 12 o'clock labs auxiliary plug. And I'm not sure if this will be live right away or not, but this connector goes in here. Click on and go. There's your power and ground. Right off the bike. Convenient as all hell. Thank you Honda for that. So let's get into running some wire down here and seeing how much we need because this seems excessive. Okay, so we're gonna take this excess 70 inches of wire that came with the USB setup 
and unfurl it a little bit here. And we are going to, as clean as possibly, run it down behind the speedo and out behind where the headlight sits to where I uh, just showed you guys the dummy plug lies. So this is a little bit of a cluster. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Once we are around the clutch cable there, tucked in nice. Just run it straight, straight down there. A little bit of a fishing game here, but you'll get her. Okay. And then right there is where she's at. Right out behind the headlight. And of course I knocked the auxiliary connector down already. And you always want to leave yourself a little bit of excess cable, right? Always. We definitely don't need that much excess. This that's that's too much. Okay, so already left us enough slack up top here that I'm uh, happy with, and I think there will be right about enough. So, what we're going to do is grab the cutters, and we're simply just going to give her a snip. Okay, this you can save for your future projects, or get rid of if you're a hoarder. I mean, to each their own. So we're obviously going to want to sheath that. And still, I don't think we need as much on this one either. Because that is kind of ridiculous. I think we can do this one up nice and short. Let's go right about there. So now, we got more than enough. Just in case anything ever happens, you need to redo it. You can always tuck it away a little bit, right? So. Sheath these. And we'll get, get them together and we'll see how this works. Let's get a penetrator in there. Might actually help. Two full hands here. There you go. You definitely want as much as you can so you can get a good solder or butt connector on there. I think I only have butt connector, so I might just do the old butt connector for tonight. Left myself lots of extra wire, so in the future when I want to do it properly i.e. soldering it, that's probably how I'll do it. Okay, this one's a little different. Hard plastic on there, we'll just go like this. Makes life much easier. Slide that back over. There we go, we got a little excess. So, black to red, red to black, right? No, I'm just kidding. Get over here, grab the handy dandy Skinner tool. Give her a little liberal chunk. Some twisties there. Might be a little excessive, but 
full lift, I think. Same thing goes for this side. We're actually going to take a little more off. Well, fucked up that wire a little bit. So, we'll clean her up here. Okay. Clean those ends up always. Just that. There's that. So, nice clean ends. All we have to do is connect the two. And you know what the deal is, right? So, solder if you want to solder. Butt connect if you want to butt connect. I usually always solder, but I don't have the equipment here, so I'm going to butt connect it for tonight. But you do your thing. Okay, ladies and germs, I got the finest butt connectors I could find <laughs> at the house. Anyway, a little bit shorter. Give the old. Zing on there, zing and twist, you know. It's my preferred technique to zing and twist. Make sure you get a better bite on it than I just did. That was terrible. That's a better one. Okay. One on this side. Get her in there. Zing and twist. Let's get a better bite on there this time. There we go, that's a better bite. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now, like I said, red to red, black to black. I think we all know that by now. But, safety purposes, might as well say it, right? Turn these up just that little bit more. Okay, red to red. A little twisty in there. This is the fun part, dancing these around a little bit here. Send her home, ladies and gentlemen. That one seems like a good one. Double check, I did the red to red and we didn't completely mess ourselves up there. Do this again. Set her up. Set her up to send her home. Okay, here we have it. You do what you want to make them waterproof. Use a lighter or a torch. I usually use a torch, so that's what we're gonna do. Give me a second. I'm back. Okay. So seal up nice. We can go ahead and try to figure out plugging this thing in. I like to give them a little pinch even though it hurts the fingers a little bit. Ay ay ay! Ay caramba! Ay caramba! Oof. Okay. Alright. 
So then we figure out how this plug wiggles on here. I think we're upside down at the moment. Okay, doesn't work. There we go. Good. Look one good. Look at that. Thank you, CRFs only. Okay, slide her back in there. She's nice and tucked in. And just kinda clean up what you saved. It's coming up to the middle there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab that reusable zip tie and we will reusable it. Get that was on there. Okay. So I think we got her snug. I don't think we're gonna get her on there too much better than that. Now let's go ahead and throw the headlight back on. We'll see what we're working with here. Moment of truth, right? Okay, so connector back in there, plugged in. No more dummy plug, it is live. Reusable zip tie on there, nice and tucked away. That's the headlight connector. Let's see if we got some power to this bad boy. So it's supposed to light up blue, I think. Let's see what we get. Oh, wait, there we go. She's lit up blue, so she is live. What do you guys think? It's not the most attractive piece of the bar setup, that's for sure. But you know what? It'll definitely be usable on the long rides and uh, to get some good footage for you guys because you always need. To charge these friggin' things always never ends. So, what do you guys think? It's a little lopsided at the moment, but we're gonna fix that here shortly. I don't think it's too bad. Kind of tucks off nice. It's on the way of anything. You can see everything here. Uh, the clutch cable kind of sits above it, but you know what? You're not using it all the time, right? So, when you are using, you can kind of Pop the cap, tuck her off to the side or underneath. She probably won't flap. Plug your stuff in and go. It's got that uh, sweet little light so you can see uh, if it is working and where it is at night if you need to plug them in, if you're riding later or whatever. The cap presses on nice. It's, uh, it's waterproof, windproof, I would imagine. It doesn't uh, seem to want to come off with me just wiggling it there. so. I think it's gonna be a good little unit. I can't complain. I am getting more and more excited by the day for this setup. All right, let's get that headlight back on. Almost time to call it a night. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, headlight time back on. So we're gonna three prong connector right back on the three prongs there headlight is connected remember we got to slide it back over that prong we had to pry it off of to get it off a little bit of a pain in the butt but we'll get it This is a little bit of a pain in the ass, but I'm sure you'll make it work. It's a little larger than the a little better.
Das ist drin. Okay, ladies and germs, we're gonna have to rethink how we routed that. Okay, like I said, throw some bolts right on in here. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Just redid the bundle here again, tried to tuck it up a little bit farther back and behind. Round two. Fight! Just kidding. Kind of. Okay, so. Definitely doing there. Connect the headlight. here with me see how terribly annoying this is so dial pins got to make it in there right now we're pinched up on the bushing just that little bit here we go see now it's falling onto there hopefully we can get this thing to sit properly because Kind of starting to drive me nuts, you know? Mucho, mucho closer. It's not perfect, but I think we might just have it. Okay, so we'll grab some of the bolts here. Start threading them back in. Okay, we might be winning. We got one bolt here in so far. Not one left. I'm not going to what else do you need to know? Oh, there you go. Oh. So that's the good one all the way home. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so on this angle here. Y'all can really get in on some action. So, I think that one. Is that the two-way? Okay, she'll see. That way. First up to the rear. Hey, I got something here. Nice one. Just what I'm looking for. Is that the youngest? Gotta make sure she's nice and tight, right? So, get the old 
Barkley wrench on there. Don't think she's going anywhere there. Okay, headlights back on. Let's go ahead and test it out. Headlight is working. Let's see if the USB is still working. That is the moment of truth. Boom. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. So, that is how you wire up the factory auxiliary power cord running off of the 2021 Honda CRF 300L. Moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Does it work? We got her all buttoned back up here, headlights back installed. Yeah, and working. Good, good. Okay, so grab my phone with a GoPro cable. Well, it doesn't really matter as long as it's a phone charger cable, it's a phone charger cable, right? So we'll pull the cover off here. Make sure she still lights up blue. Yes. Okay, let's see what she does here. Plug her into the 2.1 amps. Will the phone be charged? Ooh wee! Look at that. No way. Phone is charging. That's perfect. Excellent. So it's still got one more port for a GPS or uh, charging a GoPro. Or a second phone, if I were to be using a second phone, that's awesome. And like I said, it's waterproof, so fully ready for the weather. Uh, whatever you want to put it through. You want to go for a winter rip, go for a winter rip. By all means, enjoy it. So. Full bar set up with the new brake and the new clutch lever. Finally installed the dual port charger. Cleaned up a couple of the excess mirrors and some reflectors. She's looking like a, like a whole new dirt bike here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot. Wait till it warms up. Come on, baby. Anyway. I want to know what you guys think. You guys like it? You guys dislike them? I know they're the... Uh, the eBay knockoff versions, but uh, like I said, they were sold out everywhere else for the Zeta models or for anything else that they had for this uh, 300L model. So all I can find it, I'm not I'm not disappointed for the price. I'd buy them again. Like I said, if I have to cut them, I'm not even gonna be upset that way. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think should be next. I got a couple ideas. I might have some more stuff on the way. I guess you'll have to wait and see. Anyway, fuckers, tune in next time. We'll, uh, we'll see what we can get into and maybe even out for another ride. I want to see how all, everything feels and get into some wheelies. Anyway. Have a good one. Peace.